Coming up, the morning continues in Floyd County after a deadly police shootout. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 11. Good evening, I'm Steve Hensley. Communities across Floyd County and the mountains continue to grieve for the officers killed in Thursday's shootout in Allen. This is video of a procession that went through several counties earlier today when two of the officers' bodies were brought home. Floyd County Deputy William Petrie and Prestonsburg Police Captain Ralph Frazier were killed along with K-9 Officer Drago and just moments ago, more sad news. Prestonsburg police posted on Facebook that canine handler Jacob Chaffins has also died from his injuries. WIMT's Keaton Hall joins us now with a look at what we know so far. Keaton. Steve, days of mourning are ahead for the city of Allen as their main street turned into a war zone on Thursday. It's not a police officer shot or multiple police officers in this case. These are human beings. These are people with children, spouses, and mom and dads. And their world will never be the same. Deputy William Petrie and Captain Ralph Frazier were killed in a shootout Thursday night in Allen. Police say Lance Stores opened fire on officers who were trying to serve him warrant in a domestic violence situation. They served our community well, and they, they done a good job doing it. And uh, there's a hole now that, that won't be filled, and, and we'll miss them greatly. In total, six officers and one emergency management official were hit in the shootout. One has been treated and released. Two are still in the hospital. In news breaking late Friday night of a third death, canine handler Jacob R. Chaffins. Uh, this guy had a, uh, it seemed to be a, a plan, and uh, he pretty much executed that plan almost to precision. One officer needed to be treated for carbon monoxide poisoning after hiding under a cruiser for hours. Shots pelting one cruiser with canine Drago inside. The dog also died from its injuries. Friday afternoon, a procession as the two fallen officers made their way back home from Frankfurt. Well, it's heartbreaking. Uh, you know, anytime you have a loss of life, uh, not only did, did I work with these people, uh, these were our friends. Uh, and as a community, we have to stick together and push through it together. And uh, we do ask everybody to keep, keep those officers in thoughts and prayers and those families as well. Well, we've not heard anything about funeral arrangements yet, but we will be sure to pass those along when we get them. Yeah, you would think it would probably be after the 4th of July holiday, but we'll uh, keep you updated. Certainly, I know you'll keep us updated uh, over the holiday weekend here. Okay. Keaton, thank you very much. And again, we want to pass along the latest news, and that is that another officer has died. We're just getting that confirmed literally about five minutes ago. Jacob Chaffins with Prestonsburg Police, who was the canine handler, has also died. Now, we also got an update tonight on Floyd County Emergency Management Director Joe Reynolds, who was injured in the shooting. The family posted on Facebook he had surgery on damage to his eye today. They say he will need another surgery in a few weeks. They say their hero is stable, he's talking, and vitals are good. The suspected gunman made his first appearance in court this morning. Lance Stortz made an appearance via video conference from the Pike County Detention Center where he is being held. He faces two counts of murder, two counts of attempted murder, and several additional charges. After the hearing, County Attorney Keith Bartley described what the scene of the shooting was like when he arrived. And when I say it's a war zone, when I pulled into this area, we're talking about people in fatigues, people with body armor, people with night vision, people with assault weapons. If that's not a war zone, I don't know what it is. And when I get out of the car, there's bullets raining down on us. It's a war zone. Judge Eric Hall has set a preliminary hearing for July 11th and has set Stortz's bond at $10 million. A small group of community members began to pray near the shooting scene tonight, and they say they plan to every night as long as officers are still recovering in hospitals. Grayson Passmore shows us how much these officers and their families mean to this tight-knit community. And something like this that happened, you know, it's, it's a tragic event. Uh, 
we never dream of anything like that happening in a small town like this because everybody knew each other, you know, and, and they always willing to help in any way that they could. The small Allen community now trying to come to terms with the unthinkable series of events Thursday night. They were defending their community and their county and what they were doing at the time that this happened. They were performing their job duty and it takes some brave, special people to do what they were doing to start with. And I look at each one of them as heroes. The Floyd County Sheriff says deputies were serving a domestic violence order when Prestonburg Police Captain Ralph Frazier and Deputy William Petri were killed. Five other officers and an emergency management director were also shot and hurt. Their officers and dear friends to Pastor Roger Rowe and Chaplain Joshua Ratcliffe. Someone who's risking everything they have. And, you know, this shows that this can happen at any time, any place, and we never know. I mean, it's from just something as simple as going to serve a warrant, which was happening to turn into this situation. And, you know, there's things that the officers do every day. Rowe and Ratcliffe lead a small group in prayer uh, and song uh, as they gather for the heroes injured and the heroes they've lost. At a time like this, it's hard to pray. So right now it's a togetherness to bring people together to be able to pray. And that's one, one consolation to hold on to and to look at, that one of these days we will be together again. In Floyd County, Grayson Passmore, WKYT. People from the Pikeville community also gathered this evening for a prayer vigil honoring the lives lost and lives changed during last night's shooting. With song, prayer, and a candlelight circle, people gathered to send their love and thoughts to the families of William Petrie, Ralph Frazier, and everyone impacted by the barricade situation that shocked the Allen community. Those involved say it was an impromptu call to action with a desire to show the neighboring community that they are not alone. For those families who were, uh, you know, affected and have loved ones who were who were in the hospital, and, and for the, um, you know, those officers who lost their life, we just wanted everybody to know that we're we're in this together. We love and we're praying for them. The vigil also included blue stones to share with those in attendance, so they could keep them on hand and remember what the weight of what happened and the importance of supporting those who are hurting. Officers in surrounding communities are also mourning the loss of their Floyd County colleagues. Public Affairs Officer for the Laurel County Sheriff's Department Gilbert Achardo says this is a reminder of the risks an officer takes every time they put on the uniform. I'm sure those officers never dreamed that a man would come out with a weapon on them yesterday. And it just reminds us it's dangerous out there. Achardo says he hopes last night's shooting will remind folks that what law enforcement does goes far beyond routine. Whether it is offering a listening ear, a shoulder to lean on, or even a bite to eat, the Mountain Arts Center in Prestonsburg opened its doors to the community following Thursday's tragedy. Multiple mental health and religious organizations set up inside the MAC. Executive Director of the MAC, Joe Campbell, says he and his team wanted to extend a helping hand to the community. It's, it's just natural for myself and my team that that's what we're here for. Um, the local officers, uh, you know, we, we worked with them a lot in, in different events and things, and so they were part of the community. So uh, we really want to be here for them, and um, it just feels natural. That's what we're here for. Chris Wooldridge with Frontier Behavioral Health says if you were unable to attend grief counseling but would still like to speak to someone, you can still reach out to them for help. The city of Pikeville says it will now be rescheduling its 4th of July fireworks. Officials say Pikeville PD and Pikeville Fire typically prepare the shows several days in advance, and the show is being postponed so they can assist the city of Prestonsburg and Floyd County as they deal with the aftermath of the Allen shooting. The show will now take place on Friday, July 8th, beginning at 9.45 p.m. Well, you can find more coverage of the Floyd County shootout on our website, WYMT.com. You can also get the latest on the WYMT news app. Just scan the code on your screen with your phone camera to download the app. We have continuously updated this story all day long and we'll continue to do so through the weekend. You can also sign up for breaking news alerts there. We'll be right back with weather.